Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, aka the Boogeyman. On this episode, we're gonna set up the shifter on one of these badass G Force 101 A's with a handcuff. They got to be one of the bad, most badass four speed drag racing transmissions out there. We're gonna show you how to sh set up the shifter today, which is it's very tricky. In fact, if you're in the car, it's a two man set up typically and out of the car it's, it's pretty easy there's some tricks i like to do to it you're gonna laugh but i take a ratchet strap and the first thing you got to do is we're going to go first gear first so we're going to go ahead and get it in first there it is it's in first gear what you're trying to do here and let me see if i can't grab up a boogie slider and a dog ring here an old dog ring and see if I can show you. I'll find one in a minute, people. Here we go. What we're trying to do is you're trying to set this, this gap here, this engagement to this surface right here. So you can see how that's touching and it's touching both. It's dragging this surface and it's dragging this surface. So what we're trying to do is you want, you got to get this engagement as deep as possible, but you don't want it dragging. Okay. That's, that's, that's not good. And you have to set that up with the stops and the shifter, not the transmission. The detents and the transmission don't set that up. The stops on the shifters do. And you've got to get that depth right. If you don't get it deep enough, it knocks out. If you get it too deep, it just beats on it and it gets drag. Resistance in a drag racing transmission is not your friend. So now we're going to set this shifter up and what you're going to do is push this against the stop like that. Well, it's hard to hold one hand pushing it against the stop here and feel the drag on this because that's how I do it. I take an old yoke and I put it here on the output and I take the input and I kind of feel the drag back and forth. And it's hard to do that because you need both hands. What I do on the bench here is I take a ratchet strap and I hook it here and I usually hook it right here, just somewhere, not the input shaft because you're going to be turning it. So we hook it and we're going to just put some tension on it. And I like a ratchet strap to put a little tension. I can feel I'm in first gear that it don't have a lot of drag to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to back it off until i feel drag so i'm going to give it another click against the stop like that boy that's hard to turn you can feel it it's, it's got a lot of drag to it so now what i do is i give it a little turn and i keep feeling for drag it's still hard give it a little bit more turn now it's starting to free up and you'll feel the difference. You can take this yoke right here and hold it, take an input shaft and you'll feel that thing dragging. You can feel it's hard, you can feel that input shaft, it's hard to turn. And as you start putting a little bit of a roll to it and what you're doing is you're put the stops pushing the shifter and it's moving the slider and it's opening it up and it's getting it away from the dog ring. And every time I add a little bit to it, I can feel it, it's just about there. Now, now it's just good and loose. All right. Right when you feel where it's good and loose, like that right there, you can just feel you lock it down. It's that simple. All right. So just lock it down. This is a uh, 3 8 12 point. There you go. All right. Now I go to second gear next. Okay. Now what I do on second gear, which is a straight back, turn it, get it in. Well, there we go. We got it in the second gear now. Now what I do is I do this in reverse. I come down here, I come under here, I come back up to here and I put a little bit more tension on it and I pull it back the other way. Or you can hook it on whatever you want to. You just want to put pressure onto this thing back. OK, 
kind of like that. I want it back against the stop. All right, and I'm gonna feel it. It's so hard it won't even hardly turn. It's in, in too deep. So, this stop right here. All right, so we're gonna run that in. You can see it moving it. Still a lot of drag. Oh yeah, now watch that. You can just see that how much that freed up. All right, you can, you hear how that clicks? Now, you can feel the drag. Put a little bit more tension on it. Yeah, perfect. Let's get just a hair off. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna lock that down. So you get the gist of what we're doing here. We're going through here, basically, and you're setting the slider depth into the dog ring with the stops of the shifter. And that's just what you gotta do, okay? And you're gonna walk through this process all the way from, you know, third on into fourth. Of course, third goes forward. So let's uh, lock it right there. Now we're in third. That works just like first. So we'll hook it again. And you can use whatever you want to use. Uh, you might use a bungee cord. I don't really see how, because you really kind of need some pressure on it. I think a bun I mean, a ratchet strap just works awesome. You can put a little bit on it. You ain't got to go crazy. There we go. And when I'm drag racing like everybody else, I keep this pushed against the stop. That's, you don't have to think about it. So you're, you know, stop, stop, stop. You're against the stop. That actually feels pretty good. So we want it to drag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're gonna loosen this up and we're gonna keep putting some tension on it. Yep, there's a drag until we feel drag. Cause we, the reason we're doing that it's no more that you'll get a feel for this. The other reason we're doing this is you want to get it as deep as possible without dragging. We're going to give it a little play. Still got drag. Still got drag. Oh, she's, she's loosening up a little bit there. That feels a little better. A little better. That's her. See what I'm doing is taking in the input shaft and the yoke and I'm spinning them against each other like this. And I can just feel that drag just as sweet as I can be. That's perfect. Now, if you're doing this in the car, I got a couple of friends that do this in the car. Jimmy Finley's one of them, Tim Hall's one of them. They have to put their shifters on in the car. Jimmy gets somebody to help him. I think he gets his daughter to get in the car. She shoves it against the stop. He gets under and he rocks the drive shaft and feels that yoke or has him a yoke. I can't remember if he puts the drive shaft in or if he's got a yoke, but he just feels the play on that and sets the stops under the car working on the shifter. Tim Hall gets his dad to do it. So you can do this in the car too. Fortunately, I can take these transmissions in and out of the boogeyman and leave the shifter on it. So it's just easier for me to set this up here on the bench. All right, so let's go to four. All right, we're in one-to-one -one high gear. And remember something, there is a high gear. It's the rear gear. The rear gear in the car is fourth gear. So a lot of people think, well, you, you don't have a fourth gear. Well, you do. Fourth gear just ain't changed in the transmission. It's actually changed in the rear end. So. That's our, when we say we've got different fourth gears, we mean we got different ring and pinions. Because that's our fourth gear. And we like everybody else, we work backwards. We typically set fourth gear first. We'll set fourth gear first because we can't change it. And then we'll set the rest of the gear after we set fourth gear. So, and that's that's not that's pretty common if you do a lot of gear stuff on these things that fourth gear 
we set up the ring and pinion and then we try to set the rest of the gearing packages up after that. All right. Yep, we're against the stop. All right. Now we're in fourth gear. We're going to check it. Oh, yes, yeah, she's got a lot of drag on her. So now we're going to go and start pushing on the stop. And we're going to loosen this up. Yeah, a little bit of drag. Oh, that's sweet there. Now we've got four set up just like we want it. So, snug up the uh, stop. And there you go. I know people say sometimes, like, why do you do these videos? You know, that's self-explanatory. It's really not. A lot of people don't know with these G-forces how critical it is to set these shifters up. I mean, they're badass transmissions. But, you know, when you're drag racing hardcore, you've got to set the shifters up. And you, you, you know, like the Jerichos, you don't really have to do this much because the Jerichos have a detent system in them that are so, the detent and the springs are so hard, you know if they're clicked into gear and they kind of hold their slider themselves. The transmission detents do, and the stops are like extra security. On the G-forces, that's not the case. The detents in the transmission really don't don't cut it. It's the stop and the shifter itself that keeps the slider, you know, depth. That's what sets it is the shifter. So you've got to set these shifter stops up right, and you got to check them every now and then. Vibration, uh, things can loosen up. So about every couple of races, I double check all this, just make sure, just like your shifter brackets. You'd be surprised at people that don't check shifter brackets. I check this, this shifter bracket after every race and stick a wrench on it, make sure it's tightened up. I literally can have this thing loosen up. Vibrations will make these brackets loosen up. So you need to always check after every race to make sure your shifter bracket is tight. Cause when it ain't tight, number one, that is you lagging and shifting because everything's moving. Number two, if you don't have the shifter brackets tight, you're not engaging the slider deep enough because everything's loose and nothing's going to the stop like it should. Maintenance on these brackets is crucial. All right, guys. So we walked you through how to set up a shifter. If, you, if I missed something or you didn't quite understand me, ask me in the comments, send me a message through Facebook or, or whatever you want to do and I'll do what I can to answer and get back to you as promptly as possible. Before I close out tonight, I want to thank all our fans, all our subs, the people that watch the videos. I mean, we love you guys. We love the haters. Uh, you know, you guys rock too. Tell your friends, please subscribe. Stay tuned to Boogie Tech. Oh, and by the way, Boogie Tech Racing Products website is up. The store is still under construction, but the site is up. In the next two weeks, the store will be up. You can buy Boogeyman t-shirts. You can buy Boogeyman hats. You can buy Boogeyman apparel. You can buy Boogie sliders, ladder bars, brackets. And just stay tuned because new product will be rolling on to the store weekly. So Chris Dunn, a.k.a. the Boogeyman.